That one time Neversoft Spider-Man game got an official movie mod because of Serial. Hey, Chris Baker here, helping to ring in the 20th anniversary of one of the most important superhero games ever with the release of Neversoft Spider-Man you may never have heard about. As you may know, Neversoft's Web Slinger Classic is often referred to as Spider-Man 2000 these days, due to its initial release date on the PlayStation and N64. The following year saw much prettier ports to Dreamcast and PC, the latter of which you're looking at right now. It, uh, wasn't the greatest PC port. Of course, in 2002, Activision would release an official movie license tie-in game. And when I say that, you're probably thinking of this Treyarch offering. Also a pretty great title in its own right. But no, there was another officially licensed Spider-Man movie game that released first in 2002. And that'd be Spider-Man 2000. Confused? Then you probably weren't eating anything from the fine line of Kellogg's branded cereals at the time as part of your complete breakfast. Because if you were, not only were you web squirting every kid in the neighborhood, you were also saving up your proofs of purchase on Kellogg cereals and on milk to order this sweet exclusive Spider-Man PC CD-ROM game. What fan of Spidey and video games could resist such an offer? The mail-in offer was heavily advertised on cereal boxes, at least one of which would resurface 14 years later in a news story about a man who peed into a vat of Rice Krispies or something. Oddly enough, Kellogg's Spider-Man cereal didn't prominently feature the offer at all. Which is unfortunate, because anyone who ate that crap deserved to know how to get something decent out of their purchase. The Pop-Tarts were alright, though. And then, once you had the game in hand, you'd see this cool animation promoting the upcoming Treyarch title, getting you psyched. You also had cool videos at your fingertips, like the first movie trailer, in the pre-YouTube world, mind you, so that was kind of a big deal, press junket footage, behind-the-scenes info, Yes, we've had a lot of fun. And even some concept art for the upcoming game, straight from Treyarch. But then, of course, there's the real reason you got this thing. The game it came with. You're very likely expecting a demo of Treyarch's game at this point. That's what would make sense, right? But alas, promo items like these take many months to produce, and it's likely there just wasn't something ready yet. So they went with the next best thing, a mod of Neversoft Spidey Classic, as ported by Grey Matter for the PC version, as ported by some studio called Live Save. Live Save, Live Save, I don't know how it's pronounced. Try finding anything about them online, you won't. This quirky item may be the only thing they ever produced. When the game starts up, it first looks like you're just getting a straight port, just with the Spidey movie suit. But the changes go beyond that. Actually, before we even see Spidey, a pair of particularly unwelcome alterations present themselves. First, you might recognize this as the opening cutscene to the game, introducing Peter, Venom, and Dr. Octopus. Well, it ain't here. Next, these shots of the city are kind of drawn out and boring, aren't they? That's because a certain iconic voice is narrating over them in the initial Spider-Man 2000 release. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Yeah, I'm assuming Stan Lee's narration deal didn't cover serial-based promotional use, so they had to remove it at the risk of breaching contract. But, uh, yeah, let's just keep that in mind as we move on to other stuff. The gameplay's pretty much exactly the same as you remember on PC, PlayStation, Dreamcast, etc. Unfortunately, PC gameplay on a modern PC, while functional, and I'm kind of surprised that's even the case, is rather tough because controller mapping is way off and seemingly unfixable. Using my 8 bit though Super NES-like controller, I was jumping with the top face button, punching with the lower one, and kicking with the equivalent of L1. And swinging to another building? Start button, of course. It sure didn't help me get through things very easily is what I'm trying to say. But I did, and the gameplay itself seems to remain identical to the PC port. The most noticeable difference is actually the signs during the chase segment near the beginning. Instead of Pork and Donuts, Tony Hawk 2, and the Daily Gossip, you're getting Spider-Man movie logo treatments, 
and the plainest Got Milk ad you've ever seen. We do still get that Captain America ad, though. Can't wait to watch him on Jerry Swinger. Oh, and this part's pretty cool, too. Uh-oh, Spidey. Scorpions headed out for old J. Jonah Jameson from day one. Yep, that's Stan Lee narration. I stand by my earlier thought that he wasn't contractually available for this. I'm just guessing everything past the first instance was completely forgotten about. Oh boy, Spidey. Black out. Spino's looking to take Spidey down as well. Yep, that's another one. <laughs> and another fun thing, the cutscenes aren't in engine, so every time there is one, you're looking at a classic Spidey suit instead of the movie version. Which is kind of amusing. It's a bit disappointing, but not entirely surprising, that the gameplay ends with the Rhino fight, about a quarter of a way through the game. After that, you're treated to a you play the demo, now buy the full game kind of screen only it's promoting Treyarch's movie game and not the 2000 release you just played. I can see a lot of kids being particularly confused by this. The disc as a whole is just kind of a weird piece of Spidey gaming history that straddles the line between Neversoft's classic and the dawn of the Activision Spidey movie game. In fact, you could say it's their first Spider-Man movie game. It's typically less than 10 bucks on eBay, so go ahead and add it to your collection as a fun curiosity. Thanks for joining me today. This video was entirely inspired by the Spider-Man 2000 20th anniversary celebration led by Super Swim Team 7. Thanks for inviting me to take part in this, like, six months ago? <laughs> Check out the playlist you see here for other pieces taking part in this celebration, and you might also dig my review of my review that I wrote for the official US PlayStation magazine in 2000 when the game originally released. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.